Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. Jumping jacks never get old. Jumping jacks never get old. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. Sound off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good job, guys. All right. Good. Wow. What's going on in here? We just finished 100 jumping jacks. And boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> hey, Pinky. Today's a special day, right? Happy birthday! Yeah, happy yeah. birthday, Pinky! Thanks, guys! What's up? Hey, Kelly! Hey, Kelly! Hey, everyone! What's up, Colton? Hey, Colton! What's going on, guys? We were just outside playing. My hands are really dirty. My mom is always telling me to wash my hands. Mine, too. Your parents are right about that. Why is it so important to wash your hands all the time? That's a very good question. After you guys wash your hands, we could go into the library and look it up. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on it. Okay, everyone. I wish I could stay and hear about that with you guys, but I have to go. I don't want to be late for my dance practice. Even though it's your birthday? Sure. I love to dance. And when you make a commitment to something, you have to stick to it, even on your birthday. Bye, everyone. Bye, Happy Pinky. Birthday. Bye. Happy birthday. Are you coming back? I'll be back in an hour. Bye, guys. Have fun. Bye. In an hour? Is that all? When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, Harry Ha <laughs> Hey kids, what did you learn about washing your hands? I learned that washing your hands helps keep you healthy. Do you know why, Hip Hop Harry? I think I know why, but do you guys know why? I know. Me too. Germs! <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Washing your hands gets rid of germs. I don't see any germs on my hands. <laughs> germs are so small you can't even see them. This book says that germs are tiny. But germs can't make you sick. That's true. Yeah, and being sick is no fun. You can't go out and play. And you feel terrible. That's why you should always wash your hands, especially before you eat. Can you think of other times to wash your hands? Hmm. After blowing your nose? You got it. What about after touching animals like cats or dogs? Definitely. After going to the bathroom? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, everyone has germs on their hands. And when we wash our hands, we get rid of them. <laughs> let's keep reading. Yeah, let's do it. Hip-Hop Harry, I want to throw a surprise party for Pinky. That's a great idea, Kelly. And guess what? I already have the cake. You do? That's awesome. But I'm still really worried the party won't be ready in time. Well, it sounds like you could use some help. Will you help me, Hip-Hop Harry? Of course. But what about Kendra, William, and Colton? They're all your friends, Kelly. And friends like to help one another. You should ask them to chip in and do their part. But they look busy. I bet once you tell everyone we're having a party for Pinky, they'll all want to do their part. Well, okay. Yeah. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're learning about washing our hands. Oh. Go ahead, Kelly. Well, I'm throwing a surprise party for Pinky, but I'm really worried I won't get everything done in time. Can you guys help me? You bet I'll help. You will? Sure. All you had to do was ask. I want to help, too. That's great. That's doing your part. William, how about you? I want to help, but I don't know what to do. Have you ever been to a party? Of course. Well, what was your favorite part? The music. We should have music at this party. Well, I can take care of the music. That'd be great. Haha. <laughs> Why don't you pick out a few songs you think she would like? That'll be doing your part. Cool. I'll see what CDs we have. Thank you, Hip Hop Harry. <laughs> Okay, does everyone have something they can do? I can draw a birthday card for Pinky. That's doing your part. What should I do? Um, you can set the table. All right. Haha. <laughs> there are so many balloons to blow up. Oh, um, maybe you can ask Laura and London to help. Hey, will you guys help blow up balloons? Sure, I'd love to. I can blow up the yellow one, and I'll blow up the pink ones. And when we're done with this, I have a special dance I want to teach everybody for Pinky's birthday. Cool. cool. I That's love awesome. to dance. Yeah. yeah, anything for Pinky. But what about you, Hip Hop Harry? Are you going to do your part? Of course. 
I'm gonna hang up the sign and the streamers. Everyone ready? Yeah! <laughs> Set the table or clean things up. Just do your part. Do your part. If you see your mess, clean it up. Just do your part. Do your part. When you do your chores, you're helping out. Just do your part. Do your part. Ask how you can help if you don't know where to start. Just do your part. Do your part. If everybody works together, then this party will be much better. We've got to get ready. So much to do. If you help me, then I'll help you. some special songs for your birthday party. Wow, this party keeps getting better and better. Wait a minute, we have a special birthday dance for you. Well, then let's get this party started! Yeah! Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah! Here we go! cake is a special treat and it tastes best when it's shared with friends. Wait, before we eat, do you guys know what we should do? What? Wash, wash our, our hands! That's right! Remember, the book said we should wash our hands with soap. Use soap to clean both sides of your hands, between your fingers and under your nails. And always use warm water. That's right! And wash with soap for at least 30 seconds. <laughs> then rinse off the soap Dry your hands and you're done. 
All the soap is gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Good job! Washing your hands is easy, just like this. Wash up, wash down, wash all around. Make sure your hands are clean. Treat. Wow, look at this place. This party was great, but what a mess. Ah, uh, don't worry, Kelly. We'll all pitch in and help. Right, guys? Right! We can all do our part. I can sweep. I'll take down the balloons. I'll help. Wait, what can I do? Nothing. It was your party. But I want to do my part, too. Maybe you can help me take down the signs. Sounds great. Let's get to it. Did you make this? I sure did. I'd love to keep it. You would? This was the best birthday party I've ever had. Really? Can I have everyone's attention? I just want to say thank you for everything. You guys are the best friends ever! Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Friends are those that care for you. You share with them, they share with you. You could have one friend, I have a few. Keep the old ones and meet the new. Some you grew up with around the way, and some you might have just met today. You call your friends when it's time to play, and if you have friends, let me hear you say. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Hey, what a fun day we had. I want you all to know that you make me so proud. And do you know why? Yeah! Because I love to learn! Yeah, that's right! I love to learn! I love to learn! I love to learn! I love to learn! I had a question and needed an answer. I asked my friends their hip hop dancers. Where could I go? Where should I look to start our adventure? They gave me a book. I opened it up and to my surprise, many fun things were hidden inside. You could learn about cars, boats, and trains, and the sound a train makes everybody. Extraordinary day, not just for Pinky, but for all of us. So, what did we learn? 
Kelly? I wanted Pinky's surprise party to be special, but there was so much to do. And what did you learn? I learned that I didn't need to do it all by myself. Everyone wants to do their part. Let's take a look. I can draw a birthday card for Pinky. That's doing your part. There are so many balloons to blow up. Oh, um, maybe you can ask Nora in London to help. Hey, will you guys help blow up balloons? Sure. I love to. You can set the table or clean things up. Just do your part. Do your part. If you see a mess, clean it up. Just do your part. Do your part. When you do your chores, you're helping out. Just do your part. Do your part. Ask how you can help if you don't know where to start. Just That was a lot of fun. And working together gave Pinky the best birthday party she's ever had. <laughs> what else did we learn today? Yes, Kendra? I learned that parties are lots of fun. Well, let's take a look. Surprise! Happy birthday! <laughs> birthday party. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! What else did we learn today? Colton? I learned all about germs and how it's really important to wash your hands really well. That sounds great! Let's take a look. I don't see any germs on my hands. <laughs> germs are so small you can't even see them. This book says that germs are tiny, but germs can't make you sick. That's true. Yeah, and being sick is no fun. You can't go out and play. Yeah. And you feel terrible. Wash up, wash down, wash all around. Make sure your hands are clean. Wash up, wash down, wash all around. Make sure your hands are clean. To wash your hands, use warm water. To wash your hands, use some soap. To wash your hands, scrub to your fingers. To wash your hands, scrub your hands. Wash up, wash down, wash all around. Make sure your hands are clean. Wash up, wash down, wash all around. Make We have to do that again. Washing your hands is fun. When you rub the soap up and down and all around, I love the bubbles it makes too. <laughs> <laughs> we all sure learned a lot today. Hey, do you all know what else we can do together? I'll give you a hint. It's my favorite form of exercise. Dancing! <laughs> That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! <laughs> okay, before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right, and I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, okay, I want to teach y'all a warm up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go! Jump to the left, jump to the right. Throw your hands up, now put them at your side. Do the Harry, do the Harry, do the Harry, do the Harry. Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! That's right, let's do it!
invested in a snack. I have some yummy sunflower seeds. That sounds great. I love sunflower seeds. They're my favorite snack in the whole world. They're fun to eat and healthy, too. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right, Veronica. I've never had a sunflower seed before. What does it taste like? Go ahead, Davide. Find out for yourself. Here, everyone try some. Mmm. Sunflower seeds are great. That tastes so good. Ha <laughs> ha. So, Davide, how are they? Sunflower seeds, they're tasty. Ha 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 ha. Great. I'm glad you like them. Help yourself to as many as you like. There you go. Hey! Hey, guys. Hey, Elizabeth. It's How's it going? going? Who is this? This is my pet bird. I just got him today. His name is Sparky. What kind of bird is he? Sparky's a parakeet. Cool! I've always wanted a bird. Ha <laughs> ha, Sparky looks real cool. Let's take a closer look. Yeah! Whoa! That's really cool. Go, 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 go! Hey, look at Sparky. Whoa, look at his feathers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. What's the matter, Veronica? Nothing. Oh, that's okay. You can tell me. I'm a little scared of Sparky. Oh. <laughs> and not just the Sparky. I'm scared of all kinds of birds. Why do you think you're scared of them? I'm not sure. I always have been. Oh, it's okay. Everyone's scared of something. Really? Yeah. In fact, I used to be scared of all kinds of spiders. You know what I did to get over my fear? What? <laughs> I picked up a book and learned about spiders. You know, sometimes the reason people are scared of something is because they don't know a lot about it. Really? Sure. When you get to know more about what you're scared of, it might not seem so scary anymore. Here, try reading this book. It's all about birds. Well, I really don't know much about them. Do you really think this will help? Well. I tried reading about spiders, and I'm not scared of them anymore. Okay, I'll try learning about birds. Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop, put this on. Hey, Veronica, why are you sitting over there by yourself? Is it because I brought Sparky? Kinda. I am afraid of birds. Hip Hop Harry says it's because I don't know enough about them. But he's just a little bird. He's not going to hurt you. I guess you're right. This book did say that most parakeets are really good with people. That's really cool to know. Hey, Veronica. Are you feeling better? A little bit. You were right, Hip Hop Harry. This book is helping me. And now that I'm learning about birds, they don't seem so scary anymore. I'm glad. You know, sometimes things we don't understand scare us. But it's amazing how learning about something can make a difference in how we feel. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Every once in a while, some things scare us. Everybody gets scared, so don't be embarrassed. You could be afraid of the dark at night, but when you turn on the light, everything's all right. So next time you're scared, don't be sad, just tell someone like your mom and dad. Don't worry yourself, one thing is clear. That's when you learn you overcome your fears. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay, there's nothing to fear. When your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay, there's nothing to fear. When your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Let's say your friend has a pet parakeet. And you get scared when you and the bird first meet Just find a book about birds and read Then watch the fear slowly start to leave So if you get scared, count to ten Or tell your family or tell a friend Don't worry yourself, one thing is clear When you learn, you overcome your fear Sometimes things scare us, but it's alright Everyone gets scared on some days and nights It's gonna be okay, there's nothing to fear When your parents, teachers, and friends are near Sometimes things scare us, but it's alright Everyone gets scared on some days and nights it's gonna be okay there's nothing to fear when your parents teachers and friends are near so 
the more I read and learn about birds, the less scared I'll become. You got it. And to help you out, I invited my friend Wildlife Wendy to stop by. She knows a lot about birds. She could tell you which birds like to play with you and which birds like to be left alone. Wow, I really can't wait to meet Wildlife Wendy. She sounds really cool. When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, put this on. Can I have your attention, everyone? I would like to introduce to you my favorite animal trainer in the whole world, Wildlife Wendy. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hey, Wildlife Wendy. And say hi to all my friends, too. Hey. 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 You know, Wildlife Wendy, before we get started, I wanted to tell you that Elizabeth just got a pet parakeet. Really, Elizabeth? His name is Sparky. I just got him today, and I already love him so much. Oh, it's very important to love your pet. It's also important that you take really good care of him. Oh, I will. I promise. Good. And here's a little tip. When you first get your parakeet, do not pick him up right away because he's scared by his new surroundings. You need to give him some time to learn about his new home. You mean Sparky's scared? Don't you get scared sometimes when you're in a new place? Yes, but when Sparky learns more about Elizabeth and his new cage, he won't be as scared anymore, right? That's right. Okay, I'll wait to pick Sparky up until he feels comfortable around me. Thanks for the tip, Wildlife Wendy. No problem. Now today, we are gonna learn all about birds. Did you know that birds do a lot of the same kind of things we do? Really? That's cool. I think so, too. You'll see, they're not that different from us in many ways. Really? What do you mean? I'll show you. First of all, birds need to pick things up, just like us. Only instead of using hands, birds use their beaks. It must be hard for them to not have any hands. Well, not at all. Here, why don't we let Gilligan show you what I mean. This is Gilligan. Gilligan is a military macaw, and he's 16 years old. He's a teenager, just like my brother. <laughs> he sure is. Now, Gilligan just loves to play the ring toss. Come on, Gilligan, show him how you do the ring toss. Whoa! Yeah, you see, Gilligan Whoa. uses his beak to pick up the rings. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> So does anyone want to play a game of ring toss with Gilligan? Oh, oh, oh. I do. Okay, come on up. Hi, I'm Davide. Well, hey, Davide. Uh -huh. We're gonna play a little game. Now you and Gilligan are gonna race to see who can put their rings over their peg first. Only instead of using hands, I want you to pick up the rings with your mouth using this clothespin. Whoa, that's a great idea, Wildlife Wendy. Now Davide will get to see what it's like having a beak like Gilligan. This is going to be cool. It sure is. But this is a game you should only play when there's an adult around. You got it? Got, got it. Good. So, Davide, you up for the challenge? Yep. This is going to be so easy. There's no way this bird can beat me. <laughs> we'll see. OK, it's time for the ring toss. On your mark, get, get set. set. Go! Okay, Gilligan's gonna take his time getting started. We've got Davide working on the blue one. Gilligan's got the red one. Gilligan's in the lead. We've got Davide not far behind. Gilligan's got the second one. We've got Gilligan with one more to go. Can Davide beat him? I don't think so. Gilligan's a winner! <laughs> wow, that was fun. I can't believe he beat me. Great job, Davide. You'd be surprised to learn everything they can do. Everybody, this is Chico. He's only two years old, and he's a Swainson's toucan. Can everybody say toucan? Toucan! Great! Now, Chico's favorite thing to do is eat grapes, only he won't just let me put them in his mouth. He wants me to throw them to him. <laughs> Check this out. Whoa! Whoa. That was cool. <laughs> now, who wants to try? Okay, come on up. What's your name? I'm Jake. Okay, Jake, all you have to do is throw this grape towards Chico, and he'll do the rest. That was oh, so cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he caught it again. That's really cool. Wildlife Wendy, I'm so glad you're here. I'm starting to have so much fun learning about birds. I'm glad you're having a great time. Go, 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 go. Well, now that we've learned a little about birds, We'd like to put on a little show for everybody. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 
Okay, this is Casper. Can you say hi? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Casper is an eight-year-old cockatoo. Can everybody say cockatoo? Cockatoo! Great. All right, well, Casper's favorite thing to do is play basketball. Come on, why don't we show him? That's two Whoa. points. Oh, that was great. Yeah. great job, Casper. Everybody, this is Haley. She's a Catalina macaw, and she's 13 years old. You know, we know each other so well that she really likes hanging out with me. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and when she's not upside down, <laughs> she always has some place to be. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> so cool. Come on, Haley, let's go. That's a good girl. Okay, it's time to meet Wazoo. Ooh. This is Wazoo. Wow. <laughs> she's a Congo African Grey, and she's 11 years old. She always has something to say. Here, let me show you what I mean. Hey, Wazoo, why don't we start off with, can you whistle in a neighborly way? <laughs> <laughs> and now I think, well, why don't you say your name? Wazoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wazoo, the telephone's ringing. <laughs> now there's someone at the door. Very nice. <laughs> Can you call the doggy? <laughs> well, now you're scoring big on a video game. Oh, that was neat. That was cool. Is there water dripping? <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you blow your bubbles? Oh. <laughs> you want to give him a juicy raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> now, open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Give everyone a big kiss. <laughs> and are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> she is excited because she's learning to make noises that other animals make. Wow. Let's see, let's do a chicken. <laughs> Go on. How about a kitty cat? Here, kitty. Here, kitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how about a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> and are you good looking? <laughs> yeah. so well, that's Wazoo, my talking bird, and that's my show for today. Yeah! Yeah! That was so cool. That was great. Go, 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 go. I hope everyone had a great time and learned a little something too. Yeah, yeah we sure did. I know I did. Me too. I Hi. never knew birds could play basketball. <laughs> that was a great show, Wildlife Wendy. I sure learned a lot about birds. Now, does anyone have any questions? I do. What have you been feeding them this whole time? Well, that's a great question. These are sunflower seeds. I reward them with one every time they perform a trick. They just love them. These are like the sunflower seeds I love to eat. Really? Hey, would you like to feed one to Casper before I put him away? He's <laughs> really friendly. Go ahead, Veronica. Why don't you give it a try? Well, okay. Great. That tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you made a new friend, Veronica. I sure have. Thanks, Wildlife Wendy. It was our pleasure. You see, Veronica, birds are just like us. They sure are. I bet when I read more about them, I'll find even more things we have in common. Yeah! yeah. more about birds now, and I'm not scared of them anymore. 
Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. Thanks, Wildlife Wendy. You're welcome. Anytime, Veronica. You see, learning about birds really helped. Well, it's time for me to go home and take care of all my birds. <laughs> Thanks, Wildlife Wendy. It makes me so happy when I get to spend time with you guys at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah, because I love to learn. That's right. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I had a question, it needed an answer. I asked my friends, they're hip hop dancers. Where could I go? Where should I look to start our adventure? They gave me a book. I opened it up and to my surprise, many fun things were hidden inside. I could learn about places far and near or learn about what I want to do for my career. You can learn about the sun and learn about rain. You can learn about cars, boats and trains and the sound a train makes everybody. for me. How was it for all of you? Awesome. awesome! I always love it when we have fun and learn about new things. Who wants to share something they learned today? Yes, Veronica? I learned that when you are scared of something, it's important to learn about it. Let's take a look. Hey, Veronica, are you feeling better? A little bit. You were right, Hip Hop Harry. This book is helping me. And now that I'm learning about birds, they don't seem so scary anymore. I'm glad. You know, sometimes things we don't understand scare us, but it's amazing how learning about something can make a difference in how we feel. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Yeah, that was great. I learned about birds, and thanks to you and Wildlife Wendy, I'm not afraid of them anymore. That's great news, Veronica. And if you're still feeling a little scared, you should talk with your parents when you go home tonight. That's a good idea. I'll talk to my dad. Maybe he knows a lot about birds. Cool. Now, did anybody else learn anything today? Davide. I learned that birds are like us in many ways. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Haley, let's go. That's a good girl. Whoa. Whoa. All right, well, Casper's favorite thing to do is play basketball. Come on, why don't we show him? That's two Whoa. points. Yeah. Great job, Casper. Whoa, that was a lot of fun. I know those birds are going to need some rest. That show they put on must have been exercise for them. <laughs> I bet it was. And now it's time for my favorite exercise. Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! <laughs> All right. Before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. <laughs> All right, now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! <laughs> Let's do it!
Hey, Sophina. <laughs> How was school today? It was great, Hip Hop Harry, but I couldn't wait to get here. Why? What's going on? My parents gave me a new toy this morning, and I've been waiting all day to come to Hip Hop Central and play with it. Whoa! Let's see this new toy you're so excited about. It's a motorboat. I've never had one before, and it looks like so much fun. Wow! Boats are so cool. There are small boats that can go very fast. Vroom! And there are huge boats called ships that can sail across the sea. Wow. <laughs> I don't think my boat can sail across the sea. Mine is really small. <laughs> that, that'll take forever. <laughs> and look, Hip Hop Harry, it has a remote control that makes it move. Whoa, awesome. Hey, Sophina. Hi, Dale. Hey, that's a cool boat. You're going to need to find some water to try that thing out. You're right. Hip Hop Harry, do we still have that small pool from last summer? We sure do. That pool would be perfect to try out your boat. I'll go get it. Dale. Will you help me get the boat ready? Sure. I love boats, and this one looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, you guys. Now you know. Normally, we don't set this up inside, but I'm counting on you two not to make a mess. Got it? Got it. Good. I can't wait to see this boat up and running. <laughs> Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. You're welcome. Don't, don't. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop. Harry. Hip hop. Harry. Put this on. Hi, Pop Harry. Hey, Scott. Hey, Megan. What are you looking for? Did you lose something? No, I didn't lose anything. I'm looking around for some ideas. <laughs> what do you mean? It's my dad's birthday today. I have no idea what to get him, and I'm running out of time. Well, why don't you make him a gift? Okay. But what? Do you know what stuff he likes? He likes that stuff. <laughs> like what? Hmm. He likes to play golf, and he likes watching baseball. He loves cars, really fast ones. And he likes reading books, too. I got it. Why don't you make him a book with some of his favorite things in it? Make him a book? That sounds hard. How do I do that? Well, we can get some construction paper and cut out a few pictures from some old magazines. That's a great start. You can find a lot of things around you that'll make the gift special. Just for him. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift and you're short on time, you can make a gift if you use your mind. First thing about what the person likes. Is it baseball, golf, or riding a bike? Whether they like books or they like cars, once you have an idea, that's when the gift starts. It's easy to do, now you're almost through. When you're making a gift, you give a part of you. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need Choose. Once you found all the pictures that you want, now you need supplies. Wow, this is fun. You need glue, Check. paper, Check. scissors. Check. We're almost done. There's just one special thing left you need to do. Put something of yourself in it, something just from you. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need a gift, you don't have to spend. You can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to finish this book before it's time to go home. Well then, get to it! Let me know if you need some help. I'll help you. Thanks, Scott. I feel better about making a gift for my dad already. <laughs> I know you two will make something great! Bam! <laughs> when I say Hip Hop, you say Harry! Hip Hop! Harry. Hip Hop! Harry. Harry.
Hey, Pop Harry, thanks for setting up the pool for us. Sure, no problem. Are you sure it's okay for us to have the pool inside? Yeah, just be careful and play where I can see you. Remember, even with a pool this small, you have to practice good water safety. Have fun. We'll be sure to be careful. All righty. <laughs> Place the boat in the water. Check. Okay, all I have to do is turn it on and watch it go. I think we need more water in the pool. No, Davide, I read the directions and it doesn't say anything about how much water we need. I really think the pool needs more water. Davide, this is my boat. I know I can make it work. But, Sophina, more water will let it... Davide! The boat is going to sink! You're going to break it! But, Sophina, boats don't sink in water. They float in it. There's not enough water for it to float. That's why we need more water in the pool. You don't know anything about boats. Look, some water got on the boat. You're ruining my new toy. I'm sorry, Sophina. I had a boat like this before. I thought I could help. I didn't mean to ruin your boat. I'm mad at you, Davide. I asked you not to pour the water into the pool, and you did it anyway. I shouldn't have asked you to play with me. I hope you didn't break my new boat. You're the worst friend ever. Oh. Hey, Sophina. What just happened here? Hey, Bob Harry. Davide almost ruined my new boat. I heard the way you spoke to him. You were really hard on him. Do you know you hurt his feelings? But he was going to mess up my brand new boat. It's okay to feel mad about him pouring water in the pool, but the way you told Davide you were mad really hurt him. You should always pick your words carefully, because you know your words have power. My words have power? Yes. You always need to stop and think before you talk. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words to get your point across. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words to get your point across. Today we're going to investigate on how we use words to communicate. We must be careful how we use these tools. Words have power. This is true. If you see someone feeling sad, use a kind word to make them glad. Words pick them up when they're feeling down. Words can help to turn a frown upside down. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. Sticks and stones might break bones, but words can help or hurt you. If you stop and think before you talk, then things can work better for you. Remember that your kind words should match what you do. Kindness towards others is our number one rule. If you say nice things and treat people right, take it from me, you'll go far in life. It's a hip-hop message from me to you. Use kind words. Use kind words. Kind words are cool. cool. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. Words have power. Words your point across. I didn't think of it that way. My words do have power. I'm going to be more careful of what I say because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. That's really cool, Sophina. But right now, I think you owe someone an apology big time. You're right, Hip Hop Harry. Now just have to figure out the right thing to say to Davide. One way to figure out the right words to say is to think about how it would make you feel if someone said the same words to you. If you do that, I'm sure you'll say the right thing. I'm going to think of an apology right now. Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. Anytime. <laughs> When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop, Harry. 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 can I talk to you? Do you have more mean things to say to me? I was mad that you didn't listen to me and you poured the water on my boat. I wanted to let you know I was mad. 
but I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Sophina, what you said did hurt my feelings. All I was trying to do was help. You didn't have to say all those rotten things to me. I know. I'm sorry. You can't always just say you're sorry and make it go away. I know you didn't mean to hurt my feelings. Do you really think I'm the worst friend ever? No, Davide, I don't. I really don't. You're a great friend. I'm going to be more careful of what I say from now on. You should, because sometimes you can't take back stuff you say. Davide, I really like playing with you, and you always have great ideas. I'm sorry I said things that hurt your feelings. OK, Sofina, thanks for saying you're sorry. That means a lot to me. And I'm sorry I poured water on your boat. Thanks, Davide. I really like having you as a friend, and I don't want anything I say to change that. Hey, hey, Sofina. Hey, Davide. Is everything cool between you two? Well, I'm still a little mad. And I'm still a little hurt. But, but we're, we're still, still friends forever. forever. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Friends are those that care for you. You share with them, they share with you. You could have one friend, I have a few. Keep the old ones and meet the new. Some you grew up with around the way, and some you might have just met today. You call your friends when it's time to play, and if you have friends, let me hear you say. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Friends tell jokes to make you laugh. When they have snacks, they give you half. And when you have snacks, you do the same. Some friends play sports or playground games. Friends are the ones that you can trust. They don't annoy, they don't fuss. And when there's a problem, they've got your back. There's nothing like a friend, and that's a fact. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Give your friends a big high five. Give your friends a big low five. Give your friends a big jump five. There's nothing like a friend. Dale, would you please come and help me with the boat? Come on, let's sail that thing. I bet we can make waves with it. Really? I'll show you. It's easy. Say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop, come inside. Hip hop Harry, come take a look at this book I made for my dad. Whoa, this looks great, Megan. Thanks. Just like you said, Hip Hop Harry, I didn't have to spend anything to make my dad a special gift. Good for you, Megan. Look, I have a picture of a baseball bat, a ball, and a glove because baseball is my dad's favorite sport. Oh, and here's a picture of a fancy car, because one day I'm going to get one for him. Haha, <laughs> that's great. I wanted to add one more thing, but I'm not sure what to add. Maybe some more golf stuff. No, we put golf stuff in there already. I want to put in something really special. Maybe you should add something that could not come from anyone but you. I know these are some of your dad's favorite things, but I bet you you're his most favorite thing of all. I made a card for my mom once, and I put a picture of myself in it. Great idea. I have just the thing. Whoa! It's a picture of me and my dad. It's my most favorite thing in the world. Wow. Now it's something super special just for me. Perfect. Did you write anything in the book? I did. I wrote a poem for him. And it's great. Why don't you read it for Hip Hop Harry? OK. okay. Baseball is your favorite thing, but you are the one that makes me sing. 
When I am sad and blue, your love shines through. I know I'm lucky to have you. I can fly to new heights and fight monsters at night. Daddy, you make my whole world all right. Whoa! Megan, your poem is fantastic. I know your dad is going to like it a lot. Thanks for your help, Scott. This is going to be the best present I ever gave him. You're welcome, Megan. Whoa! Look, Sophina and Davi, they got the boat going. Let's oh, see. Let me Whoa. see. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's see some fancy moves with that boat. Davide, why don't you show them the cool moves you showed me? Are you sure? I'm definitely sure. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa. I gotta go! Whoa! Go, 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 go! Yeah! It makes me so happy when I get to spend time with you guys at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah! Because I love to learn! That's right! Kids, what did we learn today? Sophina. I learned that you should choose your words carefully because your words can make someone feel good or make them feel bad. That sounds great. Let's take a look. It's okay to feel mad about him pouring water in the pool, but the way you told Davide you were mad really hurt him. You should always pick your words carefully because you know your words have power. My words have power. Yes, you always need to stop and think before you talk. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. <laughs> I'm going to choose my words more carefully from now on. All right, Sophina. Now that's a plan we should all stick to. <laughs> Was there anything else you guys learned today? Megan. I learned that sometimes the most special gifts can be the ones that you make yourself. Let's check it out. Why don't you make him a book with some of his favorite things in it? You can find a lot of things around you that'll make the gift special just for him. When you need a gift you don't have to spend, you can make a gift for your family and friends. When you need That was a lot of fun. I also learned that it's important to put something really special just from you into the gift, too. You got it, Megan. That's one of the things that can make a good gift a great gift. Your dad is going to love the book, especially that poem. Thanks. I can't wait to go home and give it to him. But I know you have time to stay for one more thing. What? A little exercise. And what's my favorite exercise? Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! <laughs> All right. But before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm-up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go! Jump to the left, jump to the right. Throw your hands up, now put them at your side. Do the hair, do the hair, do the hair, do the hair. Somebody scream! Yeah! All right! Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... 
Pimp Up Harry Dance Circle! That's right! Let's do it! for a minute. What's up? Hey, Hip Hop Harry, what's happening? What's going on? <laughs> Would you guys like to help me with a special project? Sure. Absolutely. What are we gonna do, Hip Hop Harry? Well, I was hoping you could help me make some hand puppets, and then we could put on a puppet show later for the other kids. Cool, I made a hand puppet once with a paper bag. Ha <laughs> ha, paper bags do make great hand puppets, but today we're gonna use socks. Cool, socks. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these cool things I have that can be used for the eyes, ears, hair, or whatever you want. Just be creative and you can make some great sock puppets. That's awesome, Hip Hop Harry. Mm, I don't know. What's wrong, JJ? Don't you want to make a hand puppet? No, thank you, Hip Hop Harry. I'll just watch. I've never made a hand puppet before. Well, there's a first time for everything. I don't know, Hip Hop Harry. What if my puppet doesn't look good? <laughs> JJ, everyone's puppet will be good in its own way. What do you mean? Well, puppets are like people. No two are the same. Just because Elizabeth is different from Ryan, and Ryan is different from you, that doesn't mean any of you are less special than the other. Just like you guys, all of your hand puppets will be special. I don't know, Hip Hop Harry. I might mess it up. I think you'll make a great sock puppet. Yeah, don't worry, we'll help you out. Yeah. See, JJ, Elizabeth, Veronica, and Ryan are willing to help. So just give it a try. You might be surprised by what you can do. I'll help you pick out something for your eyes. Thank you, Veronica. I will give it a try. Cool. Now give me a high five. Bam. <laughs> when I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hey, everybody! Oh, hey, 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 hey. hey, what are you guys doing? We're making hand puppets for our puppet show. Wow, that sounds like fun! It is. Would you like to join us? I'd love to. But first, I brought some fruits and vegetables for all of you to snack on. Come on, let's go to the kitchen and check it out. I'll meet you over there in a minute. I'm gonna go check on the other kids. Okay, sure. 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 Hey. Oh, I love fruit. Strawberries are my favorite. I love vegetables. Me too. I eat fruits and vegetables every day. It's a great way to stay healthy. Here, try some. Mmm. Mm. This carrot tastes good. <laughs> May I have one? I like carrots too. You're right, JJ. This carrot tastes good, and it's fun to crunch. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Pinky. Yeah, thanks, Pinky. You're welcome, kids. Enjoy it. I'll be right back. Look, I have two tomato slices. You like tomatoes? I don't like them. I love them. Tomatoes are delicious fruit. Tomatoes aren't fruit. They're a vegetable. You know, lots of people think that, but tomatoes are fruits because they have seeds. Take a look. The seeds make them a fruit. What's going on, kids? Hey, Hip Hop Harry. I said that tomatoes are a fruit because they have seeds. But Ryan said they are a vegetable. Who's right? Actually, you're right, Elizabeth. Tomatoes are fruits. Yeah. Are you sure? Because if that's true, then that means a cucumber is a fruit because it has seeds. You're right, Ryan. Cucumbers do have seeds, so they are fruits, too. So, what are vegetables? Vegetables are sometimes leafy, but they never have seeds. Like celery. Right again, Elizabeth. Celery is a vegetable because it's leafy and it doesn't have seeds. 
just like cauliflower and spinach. Wait a minute. Bananas are a fruit, right? They sure are. But they don't have seeds. They sure do. Look at that banana for yourself. You see all the small black dots? Oh, I see, right in the middle. That's right. Those are seeds. This is so cool. Ha <laughs> ha. Fruits and vegetables, vegetables and fruits. Doesn't matter what you call them, they're all good for you. So I went to the store. The shopkeeper asked, what did I come in for? I wanted a snack, a vegetable, or a fruit. She gave me a tomato and asked, what this fruit do? I said, this is a fruit. How can that be? She said, tomatoes are fruits because they have seeds. Just like bell peppers and kiwis. They're all fruits because they all have seeds. An apple is a fruit. It has seeds. Lettuce is a veggie. It's leafy green. To know if it's a fruit. Check the seeds. Veggies are good for me. Yes, I was so surprised, couldn't believe my eyes. vegetable i see the leafy green just like spinach and cauliflower they're all on the same team so many fruits and veggies here now for me to choose fruit leaf or root you see they're all very good for you an apple is a fruit it has seeds lettuce is a veggie it's leafy green to know if it's a fruit check the seeds veggies are good for me yes, to check for seeds to see if it's a fruit or a vegetable. Thanks, Hip Hop Perry. Sure, anytime, Ryan. Hey, I have an idea. What is it, Elizabeth? Why don't we make our puppets look like fruits and vegetables so that we can talk about them in our puppet show? Well, that sounds Let's like do it. Awesome. You know what else we need? Every show needs a host. My puppet can be the host of our show. That's great. I'll get the stage ready with the other kids while you guys finish your hand puppets. Cool, I can't wait. Yeah. 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 When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, put this on. Son. Son. Hey kids. Oh hey, hey, hey Pinky. What's up? Oh wow, your puppets look great. Thanks. 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 So, did you enjoy all your fruits and vegetables? Oh, we oh, sure, we sure yeah. did. So good. And Hip Hop Harry taught us the difference between fruits and vegetables. Fruits have seeds, and vegetables don't. That's right! You guys are quick learners. We made our hand puppets look like fruits and vegetables so that we can talk about them in our puppet show. That's great, Elizabeth. Hey, what do you have there, JJ? I made Mr. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was afraid to make a hand puppet because I never made one before. But Hip Hop Harry told me to just give it a try. So I did. Well, way to go, JJ. Wow! You kids did a wonderful job. Great work. Thanks, Thanks Hip Hop Harry. Harry. Look at Mr. Mouth, Hip Hop Harry. JJ, you did a great job. And I really like what you did with the hat. You do? Yup, I sure do. Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and you were right. Even though it might seem scary at first, trying new things can be a lot of fun. See, I told you amazing things can happen when you just give it a try. The whole world is full of new things to try. Don't let a good thing pass you by. Never say I can't, just give it a try. When things are new or difficult at times, never give up, just give it a try. When everybody's talking about something new, like playing a game or a type of food, don't say I can't or I don't like it or I don't know until you've tried it. There's a whole world of new things to try, from playing a new sport to a slice of pie. So if there's a new thing that needs exploring, don't quit, give it a try and go for it. Don't let a good thing pass you by. Never say I can't, just give it a try. When things are new or difficult at times, never, never give up, up. just give, give it a try. It a try.
Don't let a good thing pass you by. Never say I can't. Just give it a try. When things are new or difficult at times, never give up. Just give it a try. When you try new things, you can make new friends. It helps you learn and build experience. You never know. You just might love it. You might end up making the best sock puppet. Don't be afraid. Don't quit or cry. When you hear a new thing, just give it a try. You might find a hobby. Don't be surprised. When you hear a new thing, just give it a try. Don't let a good thing pass you by. Never say I can't. Just give it a try. When things are new or difficult at times, never give up. Just give it a try. Don't let a good thing pass you by. Never say I can't. Just give it a try. When things are new or difficult at times, never give up. Just give it a try. Now, how's everyone doing out there? Cool! Awesome! You guys sound great! Today we have a special puppet show for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Mr. Mouse, Veggie Victor, and Fruity Frida! Right! Hi, Mr. Mouse. Have you had anything to eat today? Yeah, I've had candy, chips, and soda. Oh, no. Those things are not good for you. They don't have the vitamins and minerals. Your body needs to go big and strong. Well, what kinds of foods do have vitamins and minerals? Fresh fruits like me. And vegetables like me. Have you ever tried eating fruits or vegetables, Mr. Mouse? No, I haven't. Well, now's a good time to start. But what if I don't like them? Well, Mr. Mouse, you won't know if you like them or not unless you give them a try. I guess you're right, Fruity Frida but what kinds of fruits and vegetables should I try? Vegetables like these, broccoli, spinach, and asparagus. Wow, these vegetables look good, Veggie Victor. Or you could try fruits like the ones over here. Strawberries, pears, and avocados. Wait a minute, avocados are fruits? Yes, because each avocado has a seed. But that would mean tomatoes and cucumbers are fruits, too, because they have seeds. That's right. Tomatoes and cucumbers are fruits, too. Wow. I just learned something new. <laughs> so when should I eat fruits and vegetables? Every day. Every day? Cool. I can't wait to start eating fruits and vegetables so I can be big and strong. That's great, Mr. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Fruity Frida and Veggie Victor. Anytime. Sure. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Mouth, Veggie Victor, and Fruity Frida. <laughs> That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show. Puppets are so awesome. Puppets are amazing. Great job with the puppet show, guys. Hey, everybody, let's have another round of applause for Veronica as host Holly, Elizabeth as Fruity Frida, 
Ryan as Veggie Victor, <laughs> and JJ as Mr. Mal. The show was fantastic. I'm glad I came by today. <laughs> well, we're glad you brought by all those healthy fruits and vegetables. They were good. They were yes. good. They were Tasty. great. It was my pleasure. Just remember to eat your fruits and vegetables every day because they're full of vitamins and minerals that help keep your body big and strong. Okay? Okay! Yeah! Go! 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 It makes me so happy when I get to spend time with you guys at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah! Because I love to learn! That's right! I love to learn, I love to learn, I love to learn, I love to learn. I had a question, it needed an answer. I asked my friends, they're hip hop dancers. Where could I go? Where should I look to start our adventure? They gave me a book. I opened it up, and to my surprise, many fun things were hidden inside. I could learn about places far and near. Try and see. There's so many things that you can learn in the library. Learn with me, Hip Hop Harry. So tell me where we're going to the library. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. So, did you have fun today? Yeah. Cool. So did I. And I learned a lot, too. Did you learn anything today? JJ. I learned that even if you're afraid to do something new, you should still give it a try, because something good can come of it. Let's take a look. I made Mr. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was afraid to make a hand puppet, because I never made one before. But Hip Hop Harry told me to just give it a try. So I did. Don't let a good thing pass you by. Never say I can't. Just give it a try. When things are new or difficult at times, never, never give up. up. Just give, give it a try. Cool. I'm ready to try all sorts of new things now. You see, JJ, you were afraid to try something new, but you did it anyway. And look at what you made. Yeah, Mr. Mouth is pretty cool, huh? He sure is, JJ, just like you. So, what else did we learn today? Elizabeth. I learned that we can put on a great puppet show. Yeah! yeah. Let's check it out. That was a lot of fun! That was a great puppet show, everyone. Yeah! That's right! Great work, kids! Who else learned something new today? Ryan! I learned the difference between fruits and vegetables. Well, let's take a look! What's going on, kids? Hey, Hip Hop Harry. I said that tomatoes are a fruit because they have seeds. But Ryan said they are a vegetable. Who's right? Actually... You're right, Elizabeth. Tomatoes are fruits. An apple is a fruit. It has seeds. Lettuce is a veggie. It's leafy green. To know if it's a fruit. Check the seeds. Veggies are good for me. Yes, so now I know if it has seeds, it's a fruit. And if it doesn't, it's a vegetable. Well, kids, we certainly learned a lot today. Learning and trying new things are very important. Our brains got a lot of exercise. But do you know my favorite type of exercise? Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! All right. But before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left, jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left, jump to the right. Throw 
Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! That's right! Let's do it! Hip Hop Harry, hip hop music is the best. What other kind of music is there? <laughs> <laughs> I love dancing to hip hop music. The beat makes you really want to move. <laughs> hey JJ, maybe we'll become a beatbox dance group someday. Sweet! Hip hop music is great to dance to, but there are other kinds of music that are also great to dance to. Really? Sure, the best dancers and musicians know that great music comes in different styles. Hey. I have an idea. Let's head over to the DJ booth and take a musical trip. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hey, Pinky, can I show you something? Sure. Let's go to the library. OK. Look what I have. Wow, $10? That's a lot of money. Did your parents give that to you? No, I helped my neighbor, Mrs. Smith, plant flowers in her garden, and she gave me $10. That's great. And the best part is, is that I earned it all by myself. That's something to be proud of. What are you going to do with it? Hmm, I might buy a pair of new sneakers. Ooh, maybe I'll buy a new outfit for my favorite doll. Or maybe I'll buy a new CD. That's a lot to choose from. You're going to have to make up your mind and pick the one thing that you really want most. Well, I really want a new CD, but it costs $12 and I only have 10. Why don't you save your $10 and add to it so you can buy the new CD that you really want? Well, that sounds good, but I really want to spend this money right now. It will take me forever to save enough for a new CD. I bet you can make that money sooner than you think. Come on, I think I have a plan. All right, new CD, here I come. Go, 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 go. All aboard Hip Hop Harry's musical trip. Toot, toot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are we going first? Other than hip hop music, what other kinds of music do you guys like? I really like the classical music that my ballet teacher plays. Classical music? Sure, my teacher plays classical music all the time. I play classical music by Beethoven when I'm practicing my violin. <laughs> Beethoven was one of the greatest classical musicians of all time. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Check in that trunk, Ryan. I think there's something in there that is right up your alley. Really? Wow, a violin! Yeah! Violins are just one of the instruments used in classical music. Ryan, why don't you let us hear how that violin sounds? Sure. <laughs> 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 
Wow. Ryan, that violin sounds pretty cool. But I'm not so sure I like classical music. Well, let's listen to some before you decide if you don't like it. OK. Listen to the violins. It totally makes me want to dance ballet. Yeah! Wow! That sounds cool. But it doesn't sound anything like hip-hop music. That's because hip-hop music has its own style, just like classical music has its own style. Did you know great hip-hop musicians create their own style of music? Here, listen to this. Yeah! Yeah! And did you know great hip-hop musicians can also take other types of music, like classical music, and mix it with hip-hop music? Classical music and hip-hop music? That doesn't seem like it would sound good together. Well, let's listen and you decide for yourself. I can really hear the classical music. Yeah, I hear it too. Feels like a whole new song when you mix classical and hip hop music together. I really like this hip hop, Harry. Yeah, see, you never know what you'll discover. When you keep your ears and mind open, you can make new music. When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, what is song? Okay, Pinky, how am I going to be able to buy a new CD? We need to make a plan for you to save. Elizabeth's savings plan. All right. Okay, so for planting flowers, you earned $10. Now, I only need two more dollars to get to $12. That's right. You already have $10, and if you add two more dollars, you'll have $12. But how am I going to save two more dollars? Well, let's see. Do you get an allowance? An allowance? An allowance is money that's just for you. Money that you could spend or save. Oh, pocket money. I sure do get an allowance. My parents give me one dollar every week. That's great. Let's add that to the board. You get one dollar every week for your allowance. Cool. Now, is there anything that you do to earn money? Hmm. Oh, I help my neighbor, Mrs. Smith, water her plants every Saturday morning, and she gives me one dollar every week. That's great. For watering plants, you get one dollar. Wow, one dollar for allowance and one dollar for watering Mrs. Smith's plants? One plus one equals two. That's two dollars every week. That's right. Add your two dollars to your $10, and you'll have $12 by next week. That's so cool. I never thought of saving my money before. I usually spend it as soon as I get it. But if I save, I'll be able to get that new CD that I really want. That's right, Elizabeth. Even saving your pennies can add up. You can have anything you want if you save for it. Don't forget to save thanks. Then save the money in a piggy bank. Instead of buying candy and all the sweets, get a CD player so you can listen to beats. So save up your pennies, nickels and dimes. So I can have whatever I want in no time. Save, save, save your pennies. You can never have too many. Save, save, save it up so you can buy all your favorite stuff. I'm going to start saving all my money from now on, and I already have a piggy bank for it. Great. Remember, there isn't anything that you can't have when you save your money. Maybe after I get my new CD, I'll start saving for college. That sounds like a savings plan. 
This was fun, Elizabeth, but I have to get to my dance rehearsal. I'll see you later, Pinky. Thanks for helping me. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys, how's your musical trip going? It's going great. What are we going to listen to next, Hip Hop Harry? I like country music. You do? Yeah, my dad listens to it in the car. I like it, too. Country music has lots of banjos in it. Na 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 Veronica, check out the trunk. There's something in there I think you'll find really fun. Hmm, what could that be? <gasps> cool! A banjo! It sure is! Try it! <laughs> Oh. Oh. I like the sound of the banjo. It's kind of like a guitar, but country music, I don't think I could dance to that. Sure you can. Hip Hop Harry, do you have any country music in the DJ booth? I sure do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> CJJ, it's fun. Country music is cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Oh, wow, country music is fun. But I know hip hop musicians don't use any of that kind of music. They sure do. Listen! Watch this. Bam! Wow! This is cool! <laughs> wow, who would have thought this would sound great? Yeah, yeah. I want to listen to that beat. I know. It's awesome. Makes you want to dance. Sure does. Yeah! Country and hip hop make a great team! Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is yeah. your music! As we continue this musical journey, the next type I like to hear is country. It's more than a fiddle and a banjo. It's not just music for the rodeo. It's great to dance to with all your friends. And when you add hip hop, the fun never ends. So let's have a cheer for country. Country, yay, country. Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My Wow, Hip Hop Perry, I never knew country music was so cool. Me either. What's our next stop? Where would you guys like to go? I know, I love salsa music. You do? Yeah, it's really fun to dance to. I don't think I've ever heard salsa music before. It's really fun. There's a lot of horns and bongos to help keep the beat. Oh, bongo drums are cool. <laughs> That's right. Hey. Take a look in the trunk, JJ. I think I know what it is. <laughs> Come on. I knew it. Cool bongos. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, one day you may be on a salsa record. Listen. It also sounds nice. It yeah. does sound cool. I like this. Yeah, this is really cool, huh? <laughs> oh, man, I really like salsa music. I bet hip hop and salsa would sound awesome together. Let's see. Uh huh. Watch this. Yeah! I knew that would sound great. You're getting it, JJ. Great music can come from everywhere. Yeah! I had no idea there were so many different types of music. And they all sound so great. Yeah, and I didn't know that hip-hop musicians listen to so many different kinds of music. Sure! That's what a good musician does. They keep their ears open and their minds open to liking all types of music. Yeah! If we're going to become hip-hop music makers, you know, we better start listening to all kinds of music. Yeah. Hey, my parents listen to all different types of music. I'm going to ask them to play some of the CDs they have so I can listen to them. Yeah. That's a great idea. Once you start listening to all types of music, you'll find that you can rhyme and dance to anything. 
your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is your music. Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is your music. Bach, Mozart, and Chopin. They were the guys that were happening. Back in the day, their names ran the scene. Today we play them over hip hop beats. Classicals not just for formal occasions. Adding a beat creates a dance sensation. So let's give a cheer for a classical. Classical, yeah, classical. Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is your music. Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is yeah. your music. Continue this musical journey. The next type I like to hear is country. It's more than a fiddle and a banjo. It's not just music for the rodeo. It's great to dance to with all your friends. And when you add hip hop, the fun never ends. So let's have a cheer for a country, country, yay, country. Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. And open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is yeah. your music. This musical journey is a wonderful time. Salsa music is next in line. Grab some bongos, give your horn a blow. Drop the rhythm and you're ready to go. Salsa music has a great flavor and funky dance moves for you to savor. So let's give a cheer for salsa, salsa, yay, salsa. Open your mind and open. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is your music. Open your mind and open your ears. You can put hip hop to anything you hear. My music is your music. My music is your music. What an amazing day we've all had at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah, because I love to learn. That's right. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I had a question it needed an answer. I asked my friends there. trip was really fun. Did you guys enjoy it? Yeah, yeah it was great. <laughs> Elizabeth, what did you and Pinky do today? Pinky taught me about saving money. Let's take a look. I never thought of saving my money before. I usually spend it as soon as I get it. But if I save, I'll be able to get that new CD that I really want. That's right, Elizabeth. Even saving your pennies can add up. You can have anything you want if you save for it. Save, save, save. With my new savings plan, I'll be able to buy a new CD by next week. Yeah! Learning to save your money is going to come in handy. What else did we learn today? JJ. I learned that hip-hop can be mixed with all different kinds of music to make a whole new sound. Let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> I can really hear the classical music. Yeah, I hear it too. Feels like a whole new song when you mix classical and hip-hop music together. This is cool! Uh-huh. That's so cool. 
Watch this. That was a lot of fun. Ryan, I bought some CDs for my dad, and we can listen to them together. Come up with some new hip hop beats and make some new music. All right. Yeah. All this new music gives us the perfect stuff to exercise to. And you know my favorite exercise. Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! All right. But before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. <laughs> now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! That's right! Let's do it! you all to have a seat right over here. Okay. I have a surprise for you guys today. Awesome! Now this is a big surprise. The circus is coming to Hip Hop Central! The circus is coming! The circus is coming! Yeah! Have any of you ever been to the circus? Oh, I have. I love the circus. Yeah, me too. I haven't. What happens at the circus? Lots of really fun stuff. There are the animal trainers that train all kinds of animals to do tricks, like the lion tamers that train big lions. That's so cool. There are other people who walk on a wire high above the audience. Whoa, that's right. And they only have a net to catch them if they fall. I almost forgot. They're also clowns. They're so funny. <laughs> My favorite part of the circus is the strong man. He can lift a car with his hands. And his muscles are really big. <laughs> All right. Let's get this place ready for our circus. Yeah! yeah! Come on, guys. Help me move this. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, hey William. William! How's your foot? It's okay, but tomorrow will be much better. I get to go to the doctor and finally he can take this thing off my foot. So what's going on around here? The circus is coming to Hip Hop Central today! That's really cool! We're just getting everything ready. Do you want to help? I don't know. I can't move around like I usually do. The doctor told me to take it easy. I wish the circus was coming tomorrow instead. You sound kind of down, William. Well, I just feel left out. I want to help get everything ready for the circus, but I don't know what to do with this thing on my foot. Just because you have a soft boot on your foot doesn't mean you can't help out or do anything. Hmm, you think so? Cheer up, don't 
frown about. You may be down, but you're not out. You can always participate, there's no doubt. Just use your very own special route, so. Cheer up, don't frown about. You may be be down but it's not the end you can still find ways to have fun with your friends if you hurt your leg and you can't run cheer your friends along it's really fun if you're feeling sick and can't dance today you can still enjoy all the music that's played so don't give up or show any doubt you may be down but you're not out so cheer up don't frown or pout you may be down but you're not out you can always participate there's no doubt just use your very own special route so cheer up You're right, guys. Just because I have this boot on doesn't mean I can't help out and have fun. Come on, we have a circus coming. We have to make sure everything's ready. That's right, William. Dante should be here any minute. He's bringing the circus to Hip Hop Central, and we want to make him feel welcome. Well, hey, I know what I can do. Maybe I can make a sign that says, Welcome, Dante. <laughs> that would be great. I know he'll really like that. Yeah, and I can make it really big and use lots of different colors. See, William, even with your boot on, you'll figure a way to help out and have fun at the same time. Okay, guys, let's get this place ready. Yeah! That looks great, guys. Whoa, that sounds like Dante. I'll go check. Yeah! It's Dante. Yeah! Whoa, yeah! look at him go. Yeah! He's only on yeah! one wheel. Oh, I'm a fool. What are you trying to say, Dante? I'm Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to say, sorry I'm late, but I lost the other wheel to my bicycle, so it took me a bit longer to get here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice sign. Thanks. Oh, we just wanted to make you feel welcome. Well, I do feel welcome. And the circus is about to begin. Oh, yeah! You take this. Wow, thanks. You take this. Neat. You take this. Cool. And you, you take this. Awesome. Now, hmm, where am I going to put Whoa! this thing? I have an idea. I have the perfect place for this. Whoa! Amazing! Whoa! That's amazing. Uh, what else do you have? Hey, Hip Hop Harry, can you grab me that really big ball over there? Sure thing, Dante. Here you go. Boom. <laughs> Now each of you throw your ball up one at a time. Ready? One, two, and three. Wow! Ooh, quite a view from up here. Yes, sir, Hip Hop Central is the perfect place for the circus. Where are the other people who are in the circus? Hey, Hip Hop Harry, should we tell them? I think so. You, you are, are the, the circus. circus. Us? That's right, all of you. But how can we be the circus? Yeah, we don't know anything about being in a circus. That's okay. Everything we need for the circus is right here in this bag. And with a little help from all of you, we're gonna have a great circus. Are you guys in? Yeah! When I say hip hop, you say Harry hip hop. Hip hop, put this on. Wow. Let's start with you. What do you want to do for the circus? I want to be a lion tamer. Wow, you must be really brave. Do you know what lion tamers do? I do. Lion tamers train lions to do all sorts of tricks, like jumping up on stools. Good thing we don't have a real lion. That's something only professionals can do. I know. But how can I be a lion tamer without a lion? We can pretend. Yeah! But how? I have just the thing. No way, I wonder what it is. Whoa! 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 That's Look amazing! That. Like it. <laughs> oh. Look how fast it is! Wow. Wow. That 
That's incredible. Whoa! That's great. It looks like a real lion. Yeah! Thanks, Dante. That's incredible. It sure it is. is. Yes. I want to be a clown. I love clowns. All you need is this. What is it? Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Amazing! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Here you go. But something's still missing. I know what it is. Something's missing? I wonder what that could be. Whoa! Whoa! Perfect. This is cool, but I'm not sure if I can make people laugh. Sure you can. You can make funny faces. <laughs> Every clown has a funny walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What would you like to do? I want to be the strong man. Well, the most important thing a strong man does is lift a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? That's a lot. How can I do that? I think you're gonna need some more muscles. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Amazing. This one's gonna be cool. Whoa! Look at those muscles! <laughs> They're almost as big as mine! <laughs> Look at the strong man. Yeah, Tyler! <laughs> you look strong. These are great, but what am I going to lift? Let me show you. Whoa! Whoa! What is he gonna do now? I don't know. Whoa! Wow. Look how heavy that is. Five thousand pounds? That's way too heavy. I think you're the only one who can lift it. But don't lift it now. Save it for later. No problem. Wow, this circus is really coming together. But you're missing the person who runs the whole show. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? The ringmaster! That's right! I think that William should be the ringmaster. R really? O okay. Great, William's gonna be the ringmaster. Yeah. The most important thing a ringmaster does is announce all the performers. But before you could be a ringmaster, you're gonna need a hat. See, the ringmaster has the biggest hat in the entire circus. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Watch this. Wow. He's about to make a hat right now. Wow. Whoa. This is cool. This is great. But now I need something that will get everyone's attention. How about this? Hmm. Whoa. Wow. wow. This will work just great, Dante. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. You see, William, all you need is a little imagination and you can help out and have fun even when you can't move like everyone else. You're right, Hip Hop Perry. This is gonna be the best Big Top Circus ever! Most awesome show on earth is in town. It's Hip Hop Harry's Big Top. Hip Hop Harry's Big Top. Hey, everybody, gather round. The most awesome show on earth is in town. When I say hip hop, you say Big Top. Hip Hop. Big top. Hip Hop. Big top. Step right up and watch the show. Under the Big Top is where we go. The circus is sure to bring lots of fun that can be enjoyed by everyone. When the lion roared, what a scary game. As a tamer, I have to be brave. I'm trained to tame. Awesome show on earth is in town. It's Hip Hop Harry's Big Top. Hip Hop Harry's Big Top. Hey, everybody, gather round. The most awesome show on earth is in town. When I say hip hop, you say Big Top. Hip Hop. Big top. Hip Hop. Big top. Look at my muscles, big and strong. Mighty, mighty me is the name of my song. As a strong man, I pose and flex in the circus. Hey, who's next? It's me, the funny lady. I'm a clown. I make people laugh from town to town with my silly game and my silly suit. Most awesome show on earth is in town. It's Hip Hop Harry's Big Top. Hip Hop Harry's Big Top. Hey, everybody, gather round. The most awesome 
so on earth is in town. When I say hip hop, you say big top. Hip hop, hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say big top. Hip hop, hip hop. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Hip Hop Central Circus. And now, please welcome your ringmaster, William! Yeah! Hello, everybody, and thank you, Hip Hop Harry. Now, today, at the Hip Hop Central Kids Circus, you will see acts that will surprise and amaze you. But now, for our first act, you will see the strong man, and he is going to lift a thousand pounds. Please welcome... Thanks, Tyler. Very, very impressive. But now, oh, what is this I see? It's Kiana the Clown. <laughs> and she's walking her dog. Whoa. Looks to me like your dog doesn't want to walk. <laughs> that dog sure is stubborn. <laughs> well, see you later, Kiana. Oh! Whoa. Everybody, let's hear it for Kiana. Yeah. Thank you. And now, for another performer with an animal, please welcome your lion tamer, Kendra. Yeah. Now watch as she gets her line to jump up on this stool. Okay, ready? Up, up, good boy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Kendra, good job. Let's hear it for Kendra, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was your Hip Hop Central Kids Circus! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All of you did a great job! Hey, William. I bet you didn't know that those balloons on your head are magic balloons. <laughs> These balloons? That's right. See, all I have to do is snap my fingers and... Whoa! Wow! amazing! Thanks, Dante. You guys are the best. I can't wait to come back. Please, Please come back, come back Please soon. Come yeah, back. come back, Dante. We had tons of fun today at Hip Hop Central, and I want you all to know that you make me so proud. And do you know why? Yeah, because I love to learn! That's right! share something they learned. Yes, Kendra? I learned about all the things that happen at the circus. Let's take a look. There are the animal trainers that train all kinds of animals to do tricks, like the lion tamers that train big lions. That's so cool. When the lion roared, what a scary game. As a tamer, I have to be brave. I'm trained to tame the scary Leo. At the circus, I am a hero. That was a lot of fun! I can't wait until a circus with real lion tamers comes to town. We that would be fun. fun! Yeah, that would be fun! <laughs> yes, Kiana? I learned that if you can't actually go to a circus, 
You can put one on by just using your imagination. Let's check it out. You, you are, are the, the circus. circus. Us? That's right. But how can we be the circus? Yeah, we don't know anything about being in a circus. That's okay. Everything we need for the circus is right here in this bag. And with a little help from all of you, we're gonna have a great circus. Are you guys in? Yeah! That was the best circus I've ever been to. Maybe Dante can come back soon and we can put on another circus. That's a great idea, Kiana. Now, did anybody else learn anything? Yes, William. I learned that even when you're down, you're not out. You can always find ways to participate. Cool, let's see. Maybe I can make a sign that says, Welcome, Dante. See, William, even with your boot on, you'll figure a way to help out and have fun at the same time. Cheer up, don't frown and pout. You may be down, but sure not out. You can always participate, there's no doubt. Just use your very own special route. Welcome, Dante. I'm glad I didn't let this boot stop me from having some fun. <laughs> now, everyone did such a great job today. We exercised our imaginations, but now, it's time to exercise our bodies. And what's my favorite exercise? Dancing! That's right. It's time for the... Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle! When I say dance, you say circle. Dance! Circle! Dance! Circle! Yeah, but before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up! That's right. And I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, okay. I want to teach y'all a warm-up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Somebody scream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the... That's right. Let's do it. Subscribe now! Look what's coming up on my toy review channel!